I've worked on a lot of stories, but this one still has me in disbelief. 18-year-old Brooklyn Clevenger never imagined when she was in town for chemotherapy at Children's Mercy, her service dog would be fighting for her life and she would come face to face with the man who assaulted her and shot her dog, Lolly. An emotional reunion for Lolly and Brooklyn. Days ago, Brooklyn Clevenger didn't know if she'd ever see her friend again. I am still alive today because of this dog. She's been with me through everything. On Tuesday, the 18-year-old was staying at the Motel 6 near Berry Road with her boyfriend and 16-year-old brother. She has a lung disease and was in town for chemo treatment at Children's Mercy. The man staying in a room a few doors down made them feel uneasy. He was thrown off just a, a weird vibe. The man approached Brooklyn and and her friends who had no interest in talking with him. Hotel management ultimately asked that guy to leave. He came back to our room and started beating on the door and the window. At one time he said that he, had, he was going to come and kill us. He left, but the next day on the way to the doctor, he was back. Police say he came out from behind a dumpster and attacked. After he hit my little brother, my service dog jumped up on him and that's whenever he shot her. And I, I got in front of my little brother and then they started started in on me. There was no doubt in my mind that he was going to have a gun, but whether or not he was bluffing on if he was going to use it or not, that's a whole different story, but he proved that pretty quick. The gun stopped working after he shot the dog and the man ran off. Paramedics rushed Lolly to Blue Pearl's emergency room. They called in the ambulance for us, but the paramedics ended up working on Lolly, which Thankfully enough, that saved her life. While she was getting treated, the three of them went to St. Luke's Hospital to get checked out, thinking they may never find their attacker. It's going to take a miracle to find this man. And next thing you know, there's that miracle walking out of the exam room. I knew I had to tell somebody and get him, like, obviously arrested. And I went up to the nurse's office and told them that, hey, that's that's the dude. That's when police arrested 25 year old Mardracius Williams. He's facing more than half a dozen charges. I am a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. And even though this is a really crappy ordeal, I do believe that we will get something from this. They don't take life for granted. You never know when someone's going to come around a dumpster and threaten your life. All of those charges and a statement from the prosecutor is up on our website. After all of this, Clevenger tells me she did make it to her chemotherapy appointment. KCPD says between medical and vet bills, this could cost the teen around $10,000. There's a fund set up for them, and that's on our website at fox4kc.com. Sheree Honeycutt, Fox 4 News.